Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and we are up again today with more from Panelisa. So we're going to be a bit big, a bit bright and a bit bold today and we're going to use, this one can be a um, tag, it's got a little tag hanger here or it can be a bookmark or it can be a slimline card layer and that's what I'm using it for. It comes with three sort of like funky shaped squares and you get a little flower and you get a leaf with this set. And you also get a section here that will emboss a stitched line into it. You don't have to use that, but it's included in it. I'm also going to be using one of the birdies and uh, all three of the little hearts in this bird set that she sent to me and i'm using one of the small sheets from here so i'm only really using a little scripty piece but it is from this pack so these are the retro style i think these are the a4 and uh yeah it's that one they don't really come with names on them but you know if you look for like this top border image this is the packaging image it's got the butterflies on it and i have tried to link uh, everything below on AliExpress so I'll just move those out of the way because I've done some die cutting and I thought I'm going to be a bit bold here because we don't use red very often we use it for Valentine's Day and we use it for Christmas so I want to use it for the base of this card which might seem a little bit you know clunky and awkward but I'm going to do it anyway and this red is that colour no it's not that colour it's it's a darker but when you kind of put it into the light it goes an orangey tomato red but this is a lovely deep dark red right and that bookmark shape will cut this out if you use that stitched layer now if you look at that that's kind of like it's off balance a bit you know you've got a huge border top and bottom so what i did was i went away and i cut that one in black so that now, as long as I get my pieces in the right place, I can drop a shadow. Can you see that? And that is going to kind of like bring it within my card design, kind of top and bottom. So I'm going to glue those in a second. So they're kind of going to go a bit like that. I did tell you this was going to be very bold and for the squares I've done those in a kind of turquoise and also a black because I want to drop a shadow there now you can have as much shadow and go as crazy as you want to with these pieces but if I can get them up there and get a good picture let's go in and come away oh there is an embossed edge I hope you can see that so you can drop your shadow just by going right up to the embossed edge and you know kind of doing it like that now my little bird i've cut in paper from that pack it's got a tiny little butterfly on it and i've also cut one in black so i can drop a shadow there i've cut all three of those hearts out and they are in red and of course you get three of those squares and i have cut three out uh, and again in black and you also get a really sweet little flower so you get that one you get a layering piece and you also get a little leaf so bold and brave today that's what we're doing so anyway let's start putting this together so first of all we want to make sure that that other black one that i've chopped uh, is going to fit within that red rectangle. Ra Did I say rectangle? Rectangle. Yeah. My throat's a bit iffy today. So you have to uh, allow me my croak. Yeah. So I am going to go here. She says my glue bottle has dried out again. I'm hoping that's going to work now. Oh, excuse me a minute. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Had to take that telephone call. And I also went away and pooped my glue bottle so it's no longer bunged up. Right, let me make sure that 
I've got the correct pieces for each side so line them up and what I don't want is any sharp edges sticking out so I think I'm going to go like that that's a, probably a quarter inch border a little bit over so I'm going to lay that down where I've got it because I do like to do in situ things and I'm just going to curl it up just to get a little bit of uh, you know adhesion on this side and I do want to put some foam underneath this so I want this section raised up if you find you've got your sharp edges sticking out or anything like that from where you've cropped this in half if you decide to do it then reaching across the desk just grab your scissors if you see it and cut it out while it's still wet there so that's got rid of that right so we've got our top shadow there and I do hope my camera's not blurred anymore and now we're just going to do exactly the same thing here and I want a quarter inch border again so about like that I think that's it I'm just going to flip that one over I'm going to hold it with my finger I'm going to lift that up and I'm going to glue along and I'm going to turn it around lift that bit up and I'm going to glue along and once again if I've got any bits hanging out then I'm going to fix them let's have a look nope I've got no sharp edges and I can live with everything that's going on there so now we've reduced the red and we've got a nice black border but as I said this shape is a wibbly wobbly shape so don't look for you know absolute straightness so the next thing I want to do is I want to pop this up on foam pads now I do have some Dollar Tree foam pads somewhere but uh they're probably in one of my crates in my other room because when you see them for a dollar or shall I say a dollar twenty five now you should grab them because foam tape is so expensive so now I'm going to go down with my base layers right I'm kind of eyeballing this on on camera so hope that I'm within range of what I'm doing right I'm gonna go like that and then we have these now what I intend to do is just go for a small amount of shadow so I'm only moving my blue piece up to the emboss line on that black section and there's three of these so I'm gonna do one and then I'll run off and do the others right I'm gonna go like that slide that a little bit there we go so that you can see that one right I'm just gonna run off into the other two I'll be right back okay so I glued all of those so they've all got their shadow now and I've also put some foam pads on the back so I'm now gonna pop these layers on top And I want to start at my edge, try and get them evenly spaced on there. I'll just hold that up to myself. Yep, yeah, that's okay. So I'm doing both ends first and then I'll be able to eyeball the centre um, a lot better. So I think I'm about there yep that looks about right and then just take the backs off and it's much easier to find the middle when you do both ends first so you can kind of eyeball your spacing I'm gonna go there right so we've got all three cute drop shadows I'm gonna get in close here I haven't got a clue what's wrong with my camera today 
so you can see it is quite bold it most certainly is now the next thing I want to do is my little bird so I've got to put the shadow underneath my bird so first of all I'm just going to do this whole thing and I want the shadow to be at the bottom so I'm going to go there I'm going to get my glue off my table that's one of the joys of having this vinyl stuff is it will just come off now what I don't want is the shadow that's under the beak so before that dries I'm just going to go under there with my scissors and just take that out now onto my little birdie I want to have that little heart so I've got just a little bit of glue there and my birdie is going to go right there in the middle now if you want to use some distress ink you can certainly do that I'm going to have that there and I think I'm actually going to glue that down because I've already got a lot of dimension with this bit popped up and these popped up so having a little bit of glue here for me is going to be okay So there's our little birdie with his little heart and now my other hearts I think I'm going to do the same and just glue these I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue there and I want to come off the edge I'm going to go there I hope this red cardstock isn't fluorescing uh, on the camera I'm going to go there so let's have another close up so we've got our little hearts and we've got our little bird see how bold and cheerful that is even though it's dark colours it's uh, it's still quite happy now with these obviously I've got a little hole and I'm looking around on my desk at all my little bitty bobs and what I can put in the centre and I don't really want to use a pearl but um, I don't mind using one of these I think this is another thing that Panelisa sent me well I could even put a gold heart there no I'll use one of these so I need one of the smaller ones move that up and I'm going to pop it into the center of the layering piece just to make sure it's squished down and then I want to pop these up a bit and then I'm going to put some glue under there I'm going to stick that down hopefully that's in the center yeah I'm pretty sure that's in the middle if not I'll pick it up and slide it there that will do nicely and I'm just going to lift those little bits up again and then I'm going to decide where I want my leaf and I think I want my leaf probably there or do I want it there yeah I might have my leaf there actually so just a little touch of glue I'm going to come off the edge with it again and that will kind of add to the humour of the piece whoops little blob of glue there and pop that one on now 
Now that's not absolutely perfectly dry yet. But I love that. Let's get a clear picture. I'm going right in. There we go. Ooh, that's better. And that's sweet. It's just a little bit quirky. And you can pop your sentiment either top or bottom. Just a little scrawly like handwritten script. She says putting glue there on the bottom of her card. <laughs> yeah. Right, that is what I have for you today. I do hope you have an absolutely awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.